What's up party people? Android stud here and look what I got the pine phone. That's right from pine 64 They sent this over to me now. This is not an iPhone. It's not even an Android phone This is a Linux based OS smartphone. That's right. It's even a computer. It runs like Ubuntu touch and other crazy Innovative software now this is for early adopters. This is the Braveheart edition You have to have a brave heart to try this on but hey, I wanted to see what it was all about I don't really know much about Linux, but I want to get into it and learn about it So this looks like a lot of fun. So let's get into it the pine phone All right, so we're gonna unbox the Pine phone. That's right. Now, I picked this up for $150. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Now, like I said, this is the Braveheart edition. I don't believe they have this edition anymore. They now have a different one that you can pick up, but it's basically the same thing. It just comes with an OS. They drop a little letter there for you. Let's check this out. Check it and see what uh, they send over to you. Yeah. Congratulations on receiving your Braveheart Edition Pine Phone. You're one of the very first to have a Pine Phone. We hope you help us and our partner projects by contributing to its development. So as you see here, they, because what the Pine Phone basically is, is an open source smartphone supported by all major Linux phone projects. You have Sailfish OS, you have Ubuntu, touch you have a couple others that you can load on here now this has a bootable sd card so it's a little different than having an android phone or an iphone this is basically having a computer in your hand so the development on this thing is gonna be insane now as you see it gives you the phone inside this is kind of lodged in here for its protection There we go. There's the phone. Put that to the side right there. Now it comes with a Type-C cable. It does not have a charging brick because if you're an early adopter or a developer, you probably already have <laughs> a Type-C charging brick. So it comes with that Type-C USB and you probably have a million chargers in your home if you're a developer. Now. The box has that cushion insert there, so it doesn't damage on the uh, it doesn't damage on the on the shipment. Now this came all the way from a long way, and it took a long time for the for the uh, for it to actually get here. So I'm kind of cool. I'm excited that it's here. It's something different. It's not you know something different, but I love tinkering with devices. Go ahead and take this out. Little plastic bag there. As you can see, ooh, has a nice, that's a plastic build. It's got a speaker there on the bottom. Pretty big phone. You're looking at 5.9, 5.95 inches. Hey now. Um, and it has a LCD. It's a 720p panel, 18.9 uh, aspect ratio. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, why are you getting a phone like this? It doesn't have 1080p, doesn't even have a quad HD display. This is a different kind of phone and most people who are watching this video are, they know what this phone's about. I don't necessarily know much about the phone, but I wanna learn about Linux, I wanna learn about different tech and this seems very exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the sticker of the thing. Now, I wanted to show you guys something cool. You got the power on button there volume up and down there and then you got your hey remember those 3.5 milli 3.5 headphone jack remember those um, you got your type C charge plug there microphones um, but do you guys remember removable batteries you see that little slit there the back comes off on this you even wedge it out. The back of the phone comes off on this. This is nostalgic. Remember the LG phones, they would pop off. 
There you go. There's the back of the phone. And there is the back of the phone. But as you can see, and it has some kill switches there for the modem, Wi-Fi, Mac, uh, microphone, rear camera, front camera, and the headphone. Now you're gonna have to use a very small screwdriver to get to turn those kill switches off. Now you can put your SD card in there and also your SIM card, okay? Now this is a removable battery. <laughs> Remember those? So when you do take this out, custom right there, Pine 64. Now when you take out this battery, you're gonna have a plastic piece that covers. So make sure you take that off when you do open up the device because you're gonna have to put your battery back in. I won't put a SIM card in this. I'll be doing some other videos about using it. Uh, and make sure you see how it has that little ridge there. Make sure you slide that in carefully and then put your battery in. And it'll kind of sit in there real nice. But now we will power this on. If we snap this together. And it comes together pretty nice. Now this feels like a, a um, Pixel 3a XL, maybe the OnePlus 6T, the size of that. So we're gonna go ahead and hold down the power button, fire this bad boy up. Like I said, you could put an SD card. You're gonna need to put an SD card because you have to um, boot up. There goes the green light there at the top. Now this has a OS on here, but just to check stuff, okay? Post market OS. Now this is just to check to make sure everything's working on it, like the speakers, uh, Wi-Fi, that kind of thing. And you'll see that it'll pop up a menu here. Uh, I don't have a um, SIM card in here, so let's, uh, the brightness on here is just insane. So there we go. It's a very bright, very bright. So you can see you can automatic test, earpiece, headphones, speaker, flash to EMC, EMMC motor, LGB, LED, modem, touchscreen. So we're gonna do the automatic test and it's gonna test some stuff here. And these all mean something, Wi-Fi, modem, all kinds of stuff. Now a couple of these will fail because maybe I don't have my SIM card in, but I think the EG25 probably is SIM card. So that's basically, uh, it on the test now what i will be doing is i will be checking out this device for um i'm gonna flash uh ubuntu touch on here so that you guys can get uh get a little taste of what this thing can run the potential of it now and i'll be dropping some videos here and there i'll be checking out some other uh, Linux OS's and stuff like that, but you have to boot it up through the SIM card and um, but I'm looking forward to um, Seeing what this thing could do man um, If you guys get any questions leave them down in the comments and if you guys know anything about Linux or anything like that and you're kind of um, uh, Know about a lot of things now it has a front-facing selfie camera uh, I believe it is a uh, 5 megapixel uh, you got a, you have a main cam, no, two megapixel on the front facing camera, and then you have a five megapixel camera on the back. Okay. And one of the cool things is you see it has that Pine logo there on the camera. That is really cool. As far as cameras concerned, this doesn't have the super wide and the hundred times zoom. It's got Bluetooth. It's got, um, you know, you can make phone calls and stuff like that, but. You have to flash a operating system on it. So this is for the Braveheart. This is the Braveheart edition. Now, this has a 2800 milliamp battery. Um, yeah, 2800 to 3000 milliamp battery. So the battery is small, but you're not doing heavy uh, OS on here like Android or even uh, iOS. So you don't have to worry about that. But very cool, man. Feels nice in the hand. Very comfortable in the back. Very smooth. Um, don't know about getting a battery replacement or even a replacement for the back. So, but man, follow me on Twitter at Android Stud. Also on Instagram. You got any questions about this Pine phone, the Linux 
bass uh, phone here, let me know. But kind of excited about that headphone jack and also the Type C on the bottom. But that's gonna do it, man. I'm Android Stud, the Pine Phone. Peace. All right, three, two, three, two. You know what this is? This is the Pine Phone. That's right. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. Ah, pretty good.